Yo, what's up everybody welcome back to the girl from the network and today what we're doing is we're tearing out the strawberry planter i'm gonna show you some of the strawberries that's in the top and then i'll tell you about some of the problems or difficulties that we have so the top has always been fairly okay but this year we haven't done anything with it so the little strawberries in there are just survival strawberries we haven't done anything to this this time around uh let me put it right here so we decided to take it out because it actually needs a lot of water even more water than than a container plant because there's just like it's about this much of soil but it's spread out that way so as the sun beats on it it really works as trying to keep this water more than anything so for the amount of strawberries that we get out of it i think we're going to take those little strawberry plants at the top and probably put them in a high tunnel and, and let them kind of reduplicate themselves a little yeah. bit more. That way we don't have to buy any. All I did was bought some brackets from the store, from Walmart on these. I've actually took the, took the screws off the bottom and we got this plastic on the ground. We really just want to drop this stuff on the ground and that way we'll turn this into... Uh, bitter melon. Yeah, bitter melon trellis, trellis basically. <laughs> um, yeah. We're going to keep the pose and we'll bring in a fence panel and put it in place. Hopefully it's long enough. We'll put that in place and then we'll plant in the ground yes. best bit of melon. So without further ado. So we took the brackets off. You saw us actually go through the process. Now it's really like it's back clean looking. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the soil that's on the ground right here yeah. to make some kind of mound, mound or maybe okay. we'll do the concrete. Yeah. Like yeah, the full probably. blocks of concrete so we can put it in there. But we'll put that in the center of the fence. Next we're gonna get the fence and mm -hmm. we're gonna zip tie it to these poles. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed that it's long enough, but I think it should be. Here we are. And it's tall enough to, for the uh, bitter melon to grab. Okay. Let's see. Hey. Perfect. And we never, we never. No coming back from way. Where's my house? Is this good enough? Yeah. I'm not going loud because I see over there right now. A zip tie is mine when it's when the walls leave. Don't want to leave alone. Well, that look better. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> They're messing up our video. Of course, the bit around should kind of cover it up a little bit. Yeah. So I'm thinking we should probably put one in the one in the side one or the one, one on the side. 
Yes, so yeah. that would be better. All right, so this is what we've actually arrived to at this point. Um, if you can see, so you remember we actually put in the fence and the poles were already existing from the strawberry planter. And if you watch the live stream, we actually did these on the live stream, right, Bill? Mm -hmm. yeah, All right, yeah. so, so what we got is some Chinese chives and bitter melon, mm -hmm. but these are the, are these supposed to be the long ones or what? Yeah, that's the long one. Mm, so these gonna get way longer than this or what? Yeah. From that, then then it gonna get bigger and bigger. And Looks like it's stopping to me. I think something did it. I don't know. No, it's not. Let me see. You think it's gonna get longer than that? Yeah, and it's to get a flower on it. So. Uh, and they got one more. I think this one is already done. I guess. Uh, no, not yet. Let's get the flower on it. I suppose to put the netting on it so the um the stinky bug won't won't get it. But like sting it, bite it, yeah. bite it, it stops. They're gonna be alright. I think I've seen I have been seeing a lot of little flowers, so maybe in the future we'll even get more flowers. But right yeah. now it's in the middle yeah. of the summer, so it's too hot for them to really they like hot but not too yeah. hot as they like really hot. Crazy hot. And we got some kind of volunteer thing got in the way right like here. Pepper squash or oh, peppers yeah. in those are we don't know what kind of peppers these are no, I don't know what kind just of came out of our soil vine, some kind of vine we've seen this but of course something bit this one so it's not gonna whatever it was gonna become if anybody knows what that is we have really no idea what that could be let's show them this other one yeah, let's go to this, uh, this one is just like volunteer from last year, so I just took it out from the bed right there where the sweet potatoes are, so I took it from over there and bring it over here, and I put it also in Charlie's, and this is the, the small one, but we like this one. And yeah, this we one. like these because they're, for some reason, we don't know where they came from. Yeah. They're really prolific look at this. and they're not they as it. or some bit. Oh, look at those little Kali. Uh, I'm gonna throw some uh, diatomaceous yeah, herb on them. And also, they got like this is like really good uh, producer. Look at that. You had beautiful fruits on it. Look at this one. New one. And I think this one is like really ready to turn red and pop up, but I'm gonna take it tonight because I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> And they uh, are easy to pop, like, you know, just pop yeah. it out of the And if, if you do happen to forget one, harvesting one, it's going to turn orange mm. and, and open up, like yellow and pop yes. open. But the inside, the seeds are, like, coated with a sweet little taste that it does have a sweet little taste to it. Look at a lot of flour right there. Yeah. And also, you can also start, like, you know, like this one, we can start taking all the like some of the leaves and you know dehydrated and so that the uh, vine will take like a little rest and like the the young ones yeah. will like keep growing keep, keep growing shaking. like this one so this one's gonna produce a lot i yes. can tell it's gonna produce a lot and we haven't even been training the vines usually bells will come out and train these yeah. vines yeah. back up so we can get a real full look <laughs> see slap you uh to get a real full look so maybe we'll start training some of these newer vines but yeah. and then we got a this is lowly bugs bed right by lowly bugs name <laughs> so yeah but the guard died up. the guard died so we actually have nothing on that bed we'll probably put in our beans back there yeah might probably. be a good spot to put some beans yeah and also that's where our turmeric growing so yeah it's okay and sweet potatoes sweet potatoes they are doing good yeah so we'll probably just use mostly for the, the the greens off of the sweet potatoes yeah i think we eat more sweet potato greens than we actually eat sweet potatoes mm -hmm. uh roots yeah yep. i guess i think so so thank y'all for watching thank y'all for joining it really was about the other trellis but at yeah. the end we wanted to show y'all this trellis always trellis 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 if you can you get that vertical growth and it won't be like this this is what i don't like about um vining crops is that you can't pull them out because you're you know trying to weed 
So if you if you actually grew something on a trellis, you don't have to worry about like right next to the trellis you got Maybe all this grass. Maybe next year we go and try cut. to make like a trellis like for the sweet potatoes. We usually try to keep them in <laughs> the, box, the box, but Beverly, this year she saw some coming up out here, and I told her, "Don't cut these." I'm like, "Babe, I do not want sweet potato leaves out here." And she was like, "Just don't cut them. Just don't cut them." And this is why. I didn't want sweet potato leaves because now the grass is growing, overtaking them. <laughs> and then now she won't even go in there because she don't know if a snake is in there. So now, and now I don't want to cut it because it's food. So I don't know. We'll yeah. come to agreement on that. Thank you all for watching <laughs> the Go For the Network Trellis Edition. Just showing you because <laughs> I've understood that a lot of people see changes and they're like, did you ever do a video of that? And for the most part, sometimes I never have a video of actually the whole process. So changing out and putting in that trellis system. I just want y'all to see how easy it is. You go to a co-op, they actually sell these panels. Even if you got a house, you don't have you don't want to buy a whole um thing full of fences. They actually sell fence panels at I think Home Depot Lowe's sell them. I don't know how high they are, but I know at your local co-ops, if you can like Google my local co-op usually those fence panels are cheaper at a co-op than at home depot or lowe's or tractor supply so thank y'all for watching and always grow 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 peace, peace. guys we love y'all